we are all allowed to eat meat. Of course, I am not an exceptional. <coughs> well, and as a known fact that Australia is one of the world largest producer and exporter of meat, an industry predicted to double in the next 20 years. And meat industry produces large quantity of wastewater that is often discharged into the natural environment. This water contains pollutants that can cause serious groundwater pollution, soil pollution, and greenhouse gas emission. Due to this, people often call it as a dirty industry. <coughs> My research aims to assess and identify the environmental risk from the meat industry wastewater and to develop an eco-friendly technology to clean up the landfill site. To do this, I trialing locally available plant species as a way of contamination remediation. Over a two-year period, I have tested 10 plant species, and I found three suitable varieties. They are Napier grass, Jane reed, and alfalfa. These need little management and can be used as a animal feed, bioenergy generation, and paper production. With this brief knowledge, we can develop a farm nutrient budget. Farm nutrient budget is nothing but how much nutrient applied to the farm and how much uptaken by the plants and how much remains in the soil. On the screen, you can see the nutrient budget for Australia. Australian agriculture sector need annually about 1 million tons of nitrogenous fertilizer and half a million tons of phosphorus fertilizers. We can effectively recapture all the nutrients that are discharged from the agricultural industry to meet the significant proportion of this requirement. That means that we can effectively replace the chemical fertilizer by recapturing the, all the nutrients from the waste industries. We can fulfill over 50 percentage of the fertilizer requirement by recapturing the nutrients from the wastewater. This, this means we can save annually about $700 million each year. <coughs> well, and research predicted that by the year 2020, we will be dealing with serious water stress. So we need to conserve and protect our water water resources. I am confident that my research will help and combat greenhouse gas emission and the effect of climate change. The finally, the take home message is, by using our limited resources in this way, we can create a healthier community and prepare a better world for future generation, free from carbon tax, nitrogen tax, and phosphorus tax. Thank you, one another.